central bank digital currencies or CBDCs are something that governments in Russia, Brazil, India, China, the BRICS countries and even the US have looked at. Of course, Analyze says that XRP could hit a huge $10,000 in central bank digital currencies. This comes at the same time that Forbes says XRP will be named right here. Right, let's see. XRP is the new Bitcoin and it's going to $59,472 soon. A lot of us never thought it would be possible, but 130 countries think it is possible as they work with the BRICS countries to build a central bank digital currency. This puts the US dollar at risk. Of course, BRICS isn't just making a digital currency, they're making a whole platform. The BRICS countries will make a payment system using digital currencies and blockchain. This way, they won't have to use the US dollar or settle payments in anything related to it. This BRICS digital currency will be a full-fledged cross-border payment system that will move money from one country to another. It will do this work with Ripple Labs. This is especially true since data and reports show that the BRICS GDP has now exceeded the G7 GDP. This means that India and China now have some of the world's fastest and most exponentially growing economies. The economies of the G7 countries like the US and Canada are clearly getting worse, while the economies of the BRICS countries are really getting better. Right now, before we start today's movie, we need to let you know about our XRP giveaway. You can get free XRP or money that you can use to buy more crypto before Bitcoin comes out. Today, we're giving it to you for free. All you have to do is click the like button. Make sure you follow the channel and share this movie. Anyone who does that signs up for Uphold using the link in the description and makes a trade will get up to $100. They can use this money to buy as much cryptocurrency as they want in XRP, XLM or Bitcoin. You can spend this cryptocurrency or you can take it out and use the money to pay your bills or do whatever you want. We'll be done in about five minutes and I really think you should do it. It's free money, so let's get to the movie. Um, in the last couple of hours, huge news has come out. XRP will soon be used for cross-border payment by the Central Bank of Russia. There are more and more countries, not just Russia, that are starting to use digital currencies, especially XRP for cross-border transactions. They do this to avoid using the US dollar and make their currency much stronger. In fact, the BRIC stations have stopped using the US dollar altogether and want to work with Ripple to create digital currencies for central banks based on the XRP ledger. XRP will then help them send money across countries. In this case, Ripple launched a crypto on demand funding service in Brazil about a year and a half ago. It used a digital bank called Travelax. They put out this product, which became very popular in the Brazilian government. Now, Brazil has chosen to launch a CBDC with the help of Ripple Labs. It will be on the XRP ledger. That's not all, though. There is proof that the Central Bank of Russia is also going to do something similar. The choice was made after a careful study of Ripple's platform and how it could help make foreign transactions easier. India and China have also chosen to go that way. Thanks to Joey's digital rupee CBDC project, Ripple has an Indian partner. It's called Yes Bank, and it's one of the biggest and most important state banks in India. They said that they officially released the unified payment interface interoperability so that people could use the digital INR to take part in the operations of the digital rupee project. It makes sense that they use Ripple XRP technology since they are a partner of Ripple Labs. On the back end, the Ripple Net system uses the XRP digital currency and the XRP ledger to make transfers possible. In other words, the money would go from the rupee to the XRP record through the Ripple Net system. Go through it to get what you need and then come out the other side as whatever digital currency you want. If this money is going to the US, it would go from zero rupees to XRP to US dollars in less than three seconds. So this is because it is cheap and easy to move. There is also a lot of money going through it at the same time. Many news stories say that the XRP ledger is about to handle trillions or even quadrillions of dollars with most of that money going into the XRP special ledger. In the XRP ledger, which is basically the DeFi area, since that's where the money will be moved. So far, there is only one token on the XRP ledger that makes that possible. That token is the Crypto Training Fund CTF token, which has a framework built into it that makes it easy to send money and, more importantly, lets you earn passive income just by holding the CTF token. Uh, this is one reason why a lot of people have chosen to buy the CTF token, and it's also one reason why I bought it. And I'm the owner of it. This is the only DeFi token on the XRP ledger and the most valuable DeFi token. Many experts, including Jack the Rippler, who has more than 200,000 followers, say that this coin will soon go from 85 cents to over $1,497 per token. Of course, this is because there are so few of them, only 120 million in total, and so many people are going to want to buy them as soon as Ripple Labs launches. The XRP system helps CBDC with its projects and gives it money. Of course, this very low supply combined with the very high demand that's going to happen could make that happen. Where it goes from 85 cents to $1,497. Even he says that supply shock could happen at any time and would easily send the stick in the air. He also says again that the XRP ledger DeFi will make millionaires and that institutions will be buying the CTF token because they know how much money it will make even though it's not very well known yet. 
I've also looked into it and done some study, and it seems to be more than just DeFi. This is a real system that is run by the community. The crypto training fund built away for holders of the CTF token to make passive income while they are away. There are currently only 2,000 users of the CTF token. People really start to notice this coin when things like it being listed on centralized exchanges and big marketing campaigns start to happen. This coin has the ability to do a 100,000 eggs. It wouldn't even be a surprise since it went from less than a penny to one dollar and ten cents zero, any sort of central exchange. Right now, picture them getting listed, having a marketing campaign and working together with Ripple Labs in a formal way, which is very likely since they run the DeFi part of the XRP ledger. It makes sense that it could really make one thousand dollars per CTF coin. Also, I want to say again that I'm not a business person. This is not financial help, and you should always find out more on your own. I'll put a link to ctftoken.com in the explanation below. It's your choice whether to look at it on the XRP ledger or the Polygon chain. And yes, I did look, and the CTF token has very little resistance. This means that it will quickly break out and reach new highs much faster than any other token. Jack the Rumba said in a tweet that there was a leak that revealed China's plans to support both XRP and Bitcoin, which could cause a big price rise for both of these securities. Ripple has also said they want to expand into Africa, which is something else. One more thing, South Africa is the last country in the BRICS group. Of course, Ripple talks about XRP's part in an estimated 2 dollars trillion market chance in Africa's fintech space, and they've now officially joined forces with a lot of other companies. Yes, they work together with one of the biggest payment handling companies in Africa. As part of their relationship, Ripple is now working with Onofric to improve tools for traditional cross-border money transfer in Africa. And now, we know for sure that all five of the former BRICS countries have used XRP and have partnered with it in some way. We've also seen that the BRICS countries that are new to the group have done the same thing. For instance, Saudi Arabia has agreed that their central bank will use the XRP ledger and XRP blockchain technology because of the Digital Dunham Project, Dubai, also known as the UAA, and XRP. Ripple Labs will be able to send money across borders to China for the first time. A lot of people feel like they have to work with Ripple Labs and use the XRP technology, which will be the CBDC cross-border payment method for BRICS countries. So anyone who wants to join the BRICS countries or is already a member will have to use this technology. This means that they get a head start by working with Ripple Labs and building CBDC on the XRP ledger to make that process easier. Um, now, this is something that not only I know, but also the United States knows since this study was just released. The Federal Reserve said that XRP and XLM are the only digital currencies that it can use to help people make payments through the FedMap system. It's clear that something is going on behind the scenes that makes the US think that this technology is about to become very popular and help make trillions and trillions of dollars. But having said all of that, I'm going to make another movie about the EU and how XRP is about to become the new digital euro. You guys can learn a lot from this. If you can't wait to see the movie, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. Share this video. Also, don't forget to use the link in the description to sign up and share. If you like this kind of material and want more educational videos like this, let me know in the comments and I'll make more of these long form videos for you. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please follow me on Twitter, Instagram.